today i am going to explain about tissue culture techniques types and its application there are different types of plant tissue culture they are like anther culture or ovary culture protoplast culture seed culture embryo culture stem culture bud callus cell suspension culture process of plant tissue culture first we have to select the parent plant from the parent plant selection of the ex plant from mother plant will be done later on it will be inoculated into the medium usually murashige skug uh, murashige and skug medium later on uh, it, this culture will be incubated in a optimum cul uh, optimum temperature and light for shoot initiation later the callus induction takes place then shoot formation takes place these shoots are transferred to rooting medium which will be having a higher concentration of auxin later the plants are kept for hardening in greenhouse sold to nursery and then potted up protoplast fusion now what are the applications of protoplast fusion it can be used for the production of somatic hybrids or cytoplasmic uh, male sterility line production or even auto tetraploid or allo tetraploid production heterozygous line production even some high um, somatic hybrids with specific aliens can be regenerated production of unique nuclear cytoplasmic combination can be seen through protoplast fusion next is uh, somoclonal variation it plays an important role in polyploidization genetic variation can be raised which include resistant to particular disease like uh, herbicide resistance or uh, stress tolerance etc now in this picture you can see that two tobacco plant protoplasm obtained by digesting uh, away the cell wall are fused to produce cells that acquire some of the characteristics of both the genetic background and can be regenerated into plant with some trait from both parental plants some of the application of uh, tissue culture are micro propagation germplasm conservation somoclonal variation haploid and uh, diploid production in vitro hybridization protoplast fusion embryo rescue and synthetic seed production the rooted shoots are potted up which is called as deflast and uh, hardened off this is necessary uh, because as many young tissue culture plant do not have waxy cuticle to prevent water loss now these tissue culture plants sold to nursery and then potted up micro propagation what is micro propagation large scale production of genetically identical clone in vitro is called micro propagation now what are the advantages of micro propagation millions of shoot tips from a small piece of plant tissue in a short period of time and space will be produced next is uh, maintenance of genetic uniformity in the progeny can be done it can produce exact copies of plant required that have desirable traits even supplies plant throughout the year irrespective of seasonal variation these are the advantages of micro propagation next is a commercial application of micro propagation micro propagation of arcade demonstrate profit all over the world many other crops like uh, banana papaya potato anthurium apple cherry etc have been grown throughout uh, through micro propagation are commercially exploited even development of disease resistant crop can be done some valuable clones recovered from virus such as tobacco mosaic virus sugarcane mosaic virus are also be done among innovative techniques of micro propagation the concept of somatic embryogenesis with synthetic seeds production of artificial seed technology are very promising 
germ plasm conservation maintenance of germ plasm of plant vulnerable to pathogen insect and various climatic hazard and plant with early embryo degeneration or difficult to maintain plant species which are endangered rare threatened with extinction are needed to conserved by ex situ method of germ plasm conservation provide cost effective alternative to growing plant under field condition nurseries or uh, greenhouses and um, cryopreservation of uh, germ plasm is really effective in conservation biotechnology next is embryo culture using embryo culture seed dormancy can be overcome embryo rescue which can cull, circumvent post zygotic barriers to raise rare hybrid by rescuing high embryo from incompatible cross is most popular application the production of embryo from somatic or non germ cells usually involve callus intermediate stage which can result in variation among seedling artificial seed production synthetic or artificial seed living seed like uh, structure they are called as like living seed like structure or uh, any tutipotent cell like for example somatic embryo or meristematic tip etc which is artificially encapsulated by chemicals like hydrogel which behave like true seed if grown in soil and can be used as substitute of true seed and possess ability to convert plant ex vitro or in vitro now what are the uses of haploid or diploid production here these are produced by anther or ovary cultures the production of pure homozygous line in less time period it will be done through this culture androgenic haploids are used to produce different lines of aneuploidies like monosomic nullisomic trisomic etc induction of mutagenesis can be done even recessive trait like low glycos glycosinolate in brassica can be made expressed use of hybrid development and early release of variety can be done through haploid or diploid production first the plant of our interest from plant of our interest we have to isolate the anther that will be cultured in a medium it might produce either a callus or a embryoid but both will finally give rise to a haploid plantlet